and welcome to Scrolls, a game by Mojang. It's currently an alpha and essentially a trading card game online. We're going to have a look at it, see what it's all about and try out the tutorial game. Before we jump in, I just wanted to draw your attention to the fantastic customization options that you have before launching the game. You can see here I can choose through a multitude of screen resolutions and uh, also graphics options. Great for recording. It's a really great feature which I hope a lot of games will use in the future. So we're greeted by this main menu kind of scenario and we're going to go into the arena. This is where you'll be playing most of your matches. And we're put into a, a lobby in which we have 12 people online at the moment. We've got the clock at the top right. Bit of gold from uh, games I've already played and our rating. It'll be rated on matches you played. Scrolls are actually cards, so you can collect and play with your cards, build different decks. Uh, yeah, so let's go straight into the tutorial and we'll see what it's about. Here we are in the game and we've got this little chappy on the right telling us what to do. Bah! Another young fool wishing to learn the ways of the scrolls I see. Another sheep eagerly making its way to the slaughter. Very well, listen up little one. I'll teach you the basics but then you're on your own. In order to cast scrolls these are our scrolls down here at the bottom. We've got two scrolls at the moment. You'll need to pay their resource cost. You get resources by sacrificing scrolls. Right click one of your scrolls and then left click the green growth icon. So we're going to right click here and then you've got two options. This is the growth icon on the left and this is to sacrifice your scroll. Both options will sacrifice them. Uh, but we're going to do this one for now and that will go to the bottom left. And as you see you've got one growth resource. Growth is actually the name of the deck that I've got, the, sort of, um, the name of the faction that I'm playing as, uh, and they include like um, beasts and creatures from the forest, you know, spells from the forest, and uh, all about nature and stuff like that. As you can see, you now have one growth resource. Your resources will replenish at the beginning of each of your turns. Now it's time to use your resources. Click your Ragged Wolf scroll and then choose a place for it on the board. So I'm going to click it with the left click and we could just place it. I'm going to put it in the middle for now. There we go. Now click the wolf and we'll have a quick look. The first number here in the middle is its attack. It's a bit like Magic the Gathering if you ever played Magic the Gathering a card game in real life or um, uh, the online game on Steam or whatever. It's a bit like that, but similar, but you've got this game board um, interface to uh, to use as well, to take into consideration. So the first number is attack. This shows much how much damage it will do, deal uh, when attacking. Middle number is the countdown. This is how often it will attack. That's per turn. So a countdown of one will mean it will attack each turn. Count over two, this Ragged Wolf has, he has to wait a turn in between each attack. The rightmost number is its health, showing how much damage it can take before it's killed. And the yellow number at the top is the resource cost, we know that. Also note when you click a creature you can move it to a nearby tile, which is indicated by these glowing tiles adjacent to the wolf. Unit's countdown decreases by one at the beginning of every round. So when it reaches zero it will attack. And also, also I believe if it's flashing that means that units can attack um, either this turn which you're actually on or if it's on an opponent's tile and it's flashing it will mean that it's going to attack uh, their coming turn, so sort of uh, pre-warning what you've got to watch out for in the next turn. Unless the rules on the scroll state otherwise, your creature will attack in a straight line, so it will go horizontal towards the opponent idols. Click the 
hourglass icon in the bottom left to end your turn, and there he goes, nomming on that little idol over there. Idols have 10 health, and you see he's taken 1 damage. He's placed a wall, I believe, useless contraption, it's got 4 health, it just sits there, can't attack. Um, very similar to uh, the walls in Magic the Gathering. A bit of flavour text there at the bottom of the card as well. Scroll, sorry, they're not cards, they're scrolls. And you'll also see at the top, um, there's a different resource cost. Um, I believe that's called Order. I think it's the Order. No, it's not Order, it's something else. We'll find out. I can't move structures. Apart from units, which are creatures and structures, scrolls can be either used, they, they can be either enchantments or spells, so they, these are the other types of scroll that we've got. So we've got units, enchantment, and sc spell scrolls. Enchantments are placed on units, so they're like uh, power-up abilities, making them better or worse. Spells, on the other hand, can do different things like uh, lightning bolts and stuff like that, fireballs. Things to do direct damage or um, abilities on. Soon he'll give us six scrolls so we can get going. You get one new scroll per turn, so you pick up a scroll, and you can only sacrifice one per turn. You may also choose to sacrifice a scroll to get two new ones. That was the second option that we saw. Uh, so basically you can trade one scroll for two scrolls if you don't want to sacrifice it for a resource. How to win? You have to destroy three of the idols. They've got five, each with ten health. So destroying three wins you the match. I think it used to be five, if I'm not mistaken. I don't actually know, but I think they changed it to three because destroying five, basically on the last idol, you could pile up all your creatures on one lane and that would kind of create a uh, stalemate scenario. So it's better with three. And uh, that means if you kill the majority of the idols, then you've basically won. So let's go, we've got five new scrolls here. Um, let's have a look at them quickly. We've got Rallying, which is a spell. All units control sets count down to zero, so that's, um, that's pretty good. It costs five to use, though. Kinfolk Veteran, he is a 3-5. Three 3-5 five. Three five creature, I mean, I mean uh, three attack and five health. And uh, two cooldown. He's got Haste, which means he'll be able to attack, uh, I believe, um, yeah, he comes into play with countdown set to zero, so he can attack straight away as soon as you place him down. That's the same with this Ragged Wolf as well. Kinfolk Brave, he's just a normal unit, 2-2, two -two, with uh, one cooldown, which means he can attack each turn. Great Wolf, 3-5 with two cooldown. He's got uh, Relentless. Which means, if an opponent blocking the unit is destroyed, this creature will continue its attack. So he'll go through, I think, he'll go through one unit and attack a unit behind if he can kill the one in front. Also he gives plus one attack to every other wolf that you have, so he's like a power up. And Ranger's Bane, which is an enchantment, he can enchant a creature to become poisoned for three rounds. I think poison takes away one health per turn, so we'll see what that's like. Um, for now, I think I'm gonna sacrifice rallying because we don't have many creatures anyway. I'm gonna get another resource, and you can use this resource straight off the bat. I'm gonna use it to play this Kinfolk Brave. I'll put him on the second row. And then end my turn. See what he does, see what the old man does. 
Oh, he's put another useless contraption down. Oh, they're so annoying. They look quite cool. I like the animations that they've got. Little, um... Spinny animations. So we've got another card. Another Kinvolk veteran. We can actually sacrifice this, I think, because... We've already got one, and it does cost five to play, so I'm going to sacrifice that. We've got three now, and uh, oh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to save them, because we can't really play anything else. I want to put that on another creature that he plays, so I'm going to end my turn, and they're both going to attack. Copper Automaton. Four attack, two health. When it's destroyed, uh, it's destroyed after attacking, so it's only got one attack basically, and then it dies. I've got a new card. Sorry, scroll! They're not cards. Leeching Ring. When an enchanted creature deals damage, enchanted creature is healed by as much health as its original countdown. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know, I think, mm, I think I might sacrifice this one because he hasn't got many creatures and I do need the resources and uh, so something with a big countdown, that guy's only got one countdown so I think I should save that to put on here because then that guy would heal himself for two, because his countdown is two every time he attacks with the leeching ring. Yeah, so I'm going to end my turn. Uh, this guy's not going to do anything, because he hasn't got anything on his way. But he could do four damage to my idol. Um, that's right, I think. So there he goes. Four damage and destroys himself. Dryadic power. It's my turn now. Another enchantment gives plus one attack and plus three health, but it's unable to move, so it basically makes it a structure, whatever unit you cast it on. You can see here these two units of mine are glowing, that means they're going to attack on the next turn, or the end of my turn even. Uh, so I can sacrifice one of these, I think I'm going to sacrifice this one for another growth resource. And then that enabled me to play one of these. I think I'll do a great wolf. Put him down here. And that'll give plus one attack. Oh, he gets one attack for every other wolf you control. So he's now a 4-5. Cool. And then I'll have to end my turn because I can't play anything else. So we've got now Machine Priest. Instead of attacking, Machine Priest heals all your structures by one. When countdown is zero, Machine Priest can move a structure one step in a random direction instead of healing. I see, so he can move. He can either uh, attack, which is basically healing structures, or he can move structures from tile to tile. We got a new card. Scroll. Ranger's Bane. Enchanted creature becomes poisoned for three rounds. So we've got that one again. Um, won't do much good on him because he's got four health anyway. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sacrifice that for another two scrolls. Ah, now we've got Sister of the Fox. This is a really good card. When it comes into play, draw one scroll. But we have got Kinfolk Veteran, two of them. I think I'm going to play these bad boys, get them into play, because they are three fives, and they have got haste. So that guy's got two attack. I could destroy that idol on this turn, so that's what I'm going to do. Bam! Bam! Nice. One down, two to go. Champion Ring. Enchanted units gets two attack. So I could use this to power up one of my wolves, possibly. 
I could also move this guy to here. I think I'm going to do that straight off the bat. Because he's got one cooldown, which means he's very mobile and uh, very attackful. He can attack each turn. That idol's only got seven health. That's my next target. What I'm going to do is... Oh man, we've got another Kinvog. I'm going to play Sister of the Fox. she got two cooldown. I'm going to put her at the back on this. And we get another scroll. Brother of the Wolf. Uh, I could actually play him. And he'll be very good because he would... Um, look at his ability, Summon Wolf. When countdown is zero, he can summon summon another ragged wolf instead of attacking. So if I did that, I could pump this guy up. Because he gets plus one attack for every other wolf you control. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to play him by sacrificing one of these. Because we haven't sacrificed this turn yet. So... Uh, I'm going to sacrifice that for a growth and then play him. He's got four health, so I don't want to put him in the way of the uh, automaton because he'll kill him in one go. I'm going to put him here at the front. And then it might end my turn. So it goes down to four and six. Almost there. He's got another machine priest at the top lane. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh, the comma, the uh, automaton. He moved it into the next row and then blew up my uh, brother of the wolf. So he won't be doing any good. Oh well, we've got mangy wolf. When it deals damage, it's healed by one. Other wolf creatures you control have their countdown decreased by one when he comes into play. So these guys have countdown one, so he'll be very good to put into play right now. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him on this row to really batter down that idol. So these wolves are ready to play. This one's got five. She'll kill that idol the next turn because it will have one health left. It's all about setting up for the next turn, this game, I think. So much of what I've played, that's the general gist of what I get from it. Uh, same in Magic, actually. Uh, and each turn, each uh, each future turn is based on and uh, modified by what cards you pick up and what cards you get from potentially sacrificing um, scrolls. Champion ring, I could play that on one of them actually. Uh, I could also move him, that's what I'll do. Move him into there. So that idol should be dead. And I could put that on the wolf, which makes it a 7. He's ready to go, which should kill. And that should win me the game. There's the second. And there's the third. Awesome. Victory! So, there we go. That's our first game of Scrolls. Now, I have played this before actually I have had a few games uh, I'll just show you through the other decks we've got here so we've got growth deck uh, where it is where is it where is it here we go this is the deck builder uh, these are all the growth cards I believe all of these cards are in the growth deck to start off with you've got like three preset decks um, we can have a look at them here. So you've got Brother of the Wolf again there. You can actually see what they look like down in the bottom right, which is quite cool on the game board. 
Um, so yeah, these are all about um, nature and the forest, stuff like that. Um, I found they're kind of like, um, they like to power up each other and beef each other up either with other units or spells or enchantments and then you can sort of drag these down which is pretty cool clear them drag them down and then you can press this button I think yeah and it orders them there we go <laughs> You can filter by the name, cost, type, and resource. Uh, the second, let's clear the table. Second deck which we were playing against is oh man, I don't know what it's called. Type store. Is it in the store? Nope, it's not in the store. Ah, uh, here we go. If we click on Quick Match, choose Easy for now. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, Order is the second. Well, Energy is the second, which is what we were playing against. They're kind of like the um, robot preset deck. Uh, they use a lot of machinery and cogs, and I, I found they used direct damage spells and creatures a lot of sacrificial scrolls stuff like that and then order is the human race I believe if we have a look in the deck builder oh nope okay I've gone into a battle well okay we'll have a look at these cards and then um, next time we'll play a game with the order I think so we've got um, soldiers and knights in the order deck. A uh, lot of cooldown reduction, I think. Uh, quite a bit of defense, whereas energy is more offense. And uh, growth is somewhere in the middle, sort of beefing up. Royal infantrymen, all friendly, all friendly creatures on the same row gain one health. Enchanted units' health is increased by one every time you play a spell or enchantment. That's quite good. And they're relatively low cost, I think, or at least the hand that we've got is. So there we go. That's the first look at Scrolls by Mojang, makers of Minecraft, of course. Um, the game is currently in alpha, and I managed to obtain a key from the uh, UK Gamers Magazine PC Gamer a few weeks back. They were giving out codes, uh, so I don't know if you can find a key yourself. You might be able to if you found uh, a friend with the PC Gamer that they didn't use a key for. Um, so that's a method you could get in to uh, try it out. But uh, for now, we'll keep up with um, updates that come out. Possibly new decks and try out some of the deck building in the future. See what we, come up, we, see what we can come up with. I believe you can actually combine decks. So you could have a growth order deck and use two resources in one game. Which is cool. <laughs> Next time we'll have a go with a different deck, probably the Order deck, and we'll see how that goes. So join me then, and I'll see you then.